speaking on this October 13th, 2023, or Friday the 13th, if you're one of those who are really concerned about the actual date and the day of the week. But as far as it being the 13th and Friday, doesn't make any difference to the, me. So getting right into it, I don't want to hash the uh, conflict in Israel and Palestine too much, but it really is big headlines. So I don't know why this has to be going on. Here's a video of something that occurred here uh, just in the past couple days. And I don't know why we have to blow each other's property up. And why we can't have no more time. other or killing each other that's just my opinion and i've said it before the solution is forgive each other stop the hate and get past the uh intolerances that you have because kindness and tolerance certainly does save lives next topic is the song Located in Loda, Illinois. An up tempo than the original version. So let's just go ahead and do it. So I recorded it, and that's what we got. You can view that on my YouTube channel. Just go to the Miles Revolution on YouTube and search for Beauty and the Beast. Next topic is, what is this? This is called Gurlitz Guitar Honey. Now, what that is, it's basically a lot of lemon juice or lemon extract put into a yellow little bottle here. And lemon juice seems to be the common uh, form of liquid that people use on their guitars. And what this is for, this is for making sure that your wood on your fretboard stays hydrated and doesn't dry out. And what a fretboard is, is this part of the guitar right here, for those who have never played guitar before. This is called the fretboard where you see all these lines. And so they will usually take the strings off when they use this and then use a cloth and kind of gently wipe it on the fretboard. And that's how you use the Gurlitz fretboard honey, guitar honey. Now for the project of the day, I have these balusters. This is a metal aluminum tube, and it's about uh, 26 inches long. And we are going to install these on our front porch. I uh, picked these up at Lowe's. They still seem to have a bunch, so I went ahead and went with it. And we do do it similar to what's on the box there. We just use pressure treated two by fours and put the railing on. Um, in order to do that, you have to have these little things, these little, uh, what do you call them, uh, baluster holders. They go on the end of the tube here. And what you do is you screw them down with a screw. It goes through the middle there, and then they go into the board. Um, and there's one on the top board and one on the bottom board, and that's how you secure them. And then when you put them on you use these end caps at least i do anyway so it better holds them in place and you have one on each end of the two by four and then you put one on the bottom board and then you turn them upside down and put them like this and i'll try to make a video and showing what i did so installing balusters and that's the morning cast for the miles revolution on this october 13th friday the 13th in the year 2023 I hope you have a great day because I got lots of work ahead of me.